This underground location is actually high in the sky, a church carved into a sandstone cliff about 9,000 feet above sea level. To get to it, the crew and I had to climb 2,500 feet, hauling a few hundred pounds of camera gear. Luckily, our guide, Mulabrahan, who's made this journey more than 30 times, brought a group of local men to help us accomplish our mission. So we're going up there. This is just the approach. And you can see when the whole thing goes straight up. It's gonna be interesting. The church we were hiking to is called Abuna Yamada, after the sixth century missionary who, like John the Baptist, came to the wilderness to commune with God and spread the faith. And we're the first American TV crew to make the climb. This is by far the first like major face that we're going up here. And all the look at these these holes. These have all been worn into the rock by thousands of years of, of worshippers, pre priests and so forth going straight up. Look at that. Down. Oh, heavy. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. Got barbells in this. <laughs> you know what's awesome is that we gotta come back down this thing. <laughs> The remote church contains copies of lost books of the Bible, still used by the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. And so they came this high up for the isolation, I suppose. For isolation, to lead a spiritual life only, okay. to get right off the secular life. And the protection, obviously, from being exactly. so far up above exactly. everything. Exactly. All right, can we go in? Yeah. Look at this sheer rock face right here. You fall off that, you are gone. The length they went to to put a monastery up here on the top of a mountain. 